Okay, Mary, you can do this. You can pull the sword from the stone and become queen of all England. Whoa! Or at least open a letter, because I think this is just a letter opener. But whatever, because you know what? It's Friday. I'm Mary Mancusi, and I'm excited to introduce you to the next episode of the Once and Future Writers Club. Oh, the habits of my heart. talk about the most frightening phrase in a writer's vocabulary and that is writer's block <coughs> every writer experiences writer's block at one time or another and it can be so painful you're sitting at your computer you don't know what to write you're just dying to get what's on your brain onto the page but it's just not happening what do you do Today I'm going to give you seven tips to kick writer's block to the curb and get you back working on your manuscript but first we got our geek thing of the day. This one is a dragon telephone. Isn't he cool? I got him at a Halloween store. I have no idea why anyone made this, but he's awesome. And even more awesome is when you pick up the receiver and listen to his message. Hello, dragon. How are you today? Perhaps it was the wrong number. All right, so if that didn't give you any inspiration right there, we're going to get back to your writer's block. So uh, the first tip to overcome writer's block is to write badly. And I know that sounds crazy, but it actually can help. Some of the times our writer's block comes because we're such perfectionists. We're trying to write the perfect sentences. We're trying to craft the perfect story, and we get stuck on those sentences and stuck on that wordplay. And if we could just push past it, we may get our energy back and keep going. So what I would suggest to you is to give yourself permission to write badly we've talked about before the vomit draft I want you to vomit those words on the page don't think about them too much just write whatever comes to your head even if it's just like stream of consciousness that can actually be helpful to get the juices flowing again so I would say give yourself permission to write badly and then you can always go back and edit that page when you're feeling more solid about your story um, the second tip that I would say to overcome writer's block is to make sure you don't have something that's bugging you that you've already written. Sometimes when I can't move forward with a scene, it's because there's something bugging me about the chapter I wrote before, and I don't even realize it. It's sort of subconsciously happening. So I go back and read that chapter and realize there's something wrong in that chapter, and I go back and I fix that chapter, and then I can move forward again and things flow more smoothly. So you may have something that's tripping you up in, that you've already written that's making you so you can't go forward. So go back, start rereading. It also can warm you up. So if you're sitting down at your computer and you're kind of cold, you know, from writing, you haven't written in a while, go back and read your earlier stuff. Even if there's nothing wrong, just reading it over, refreshing yourself with the story can actually help you overcome writer's block. Um, another thing you might do, and this is just really simple, but it actually works sometimes, is to change your location up. If you're always sitting at the same computer in the same spot, why don't you mix it up a little? Maybe go to a restaurant, like a coffee shop or something, or go outside, or sit on the couch with your laptop, or don't do that, and like sit at a desk and feel a little more formal with your writing. But sometimes just the change of scenery uh, can really help. And the next thing I would suggest is uh, exercise. It's good for you in so many different ways. I think that um, there's something about how when the body is warmed up, the brain gets warmed up too. There's some kind of body-mind connection there. So when you go out, maybe you could take a walk or you can jog if you like jogging. And you can listen to music, but I would suggest music that doesn't have any words. Uh, I usually listen to like EDM or, or soundtracks for video games. The Skyrim soundtrack is a really good one. Um, and you can listen to wordless music and just kind of think through your plot Think where you're trying to go, and I promise you, by the end of your walk or run, you'll probably have figured out a lot. Uh, so definitely consider exercising as a tip for uh, overcoming writer's block. Um, another one is to talk it over with a friend. Sometimes we just have to work our plots out verbally before we can put them on paper. So if you're having trouble with something, call a friend up or, or get together with a friend and tell them your story. You may ask them for advice even, but you may just actually figure it out just by spitting it out and just by talking about it. You may have solved your own problem by the end. Or they may help you uh, get past a hard spot too. Sometimes having a different perspective on your manuscript uh, can actually help you as well. So that is another way to combat writer's block. 
Um, another way would be to, oh, so this is, this way is actually one that um, I learned from Hemingway. Hemingway used to always say you stop at the good part. And what that means is you don't write until you don't know what's going to happen next. Because if you do that, the next day you're not going to know what to write. So let's say you uh, are writing, 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 and you write all the good stuff and you, you know, finish the scene and you set it down. And you're like, I don't know what's going to happen next, but, but surely tomorrow I'll figure it out. Yeah, right. You will wake up tomorrow and you will have not figured it out. And then you will sit at the computer, stare at the screen and be like, maybe the next day I will figure it out. And it gets worse and worse and it snowballs from there. And then you find out you're not writing because you have this big mental block against the next scene. So instead, why don't you try to leave off in the middle of an exciting scene, like in the middle of a fight scene or a middle of a, you know, a conversation when you know exactly what's going to happen next. Force yourself to stop there, leave your computer, and then the next day you're going to be so excited to sit down again and type out the rest of the story. And by then, you're already warmed up, so hopefully you'll keep going and you'll and you'll move forward. So that is a really good way, and it works for me so often, um, of keeping away Robert writer's block. Another thing, if you don't want to leave off on the good part, you know, you can actually type notes to yourself, like, tomorrow I am going to write the scene about blah, blah, blah. Just write a little paragraph about what the scene is going to be tomorrow, and then when you come tomorrow, you're not starting blank. You have this little instruction that you left yourself saying, okay, here's the scene you're going to write, and you can start with that. So that could be helpful for you as well. And the last thing I'll say is forgive yourself. Some days the words are just not going to come and that's okay. You can walk away from your computer once in a while. You don't have to write all the time. As long as you're writing regularly, as long as you're getting stuff down on the paper, there are days where it's just not going to happen for you. And I have to, had to learn the hard way to just kind of walk away, do something else, go see a movie, uh, you know, go hang out with your friends, do anything but write. And then maybe it will, you know, kind of refill the well and you're going to feel a lot better the next day when you sit down to write. So those are some tips that I have to overcome writer's block. I hope they were helpful. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Place them down in the comments below. Or if you have any suggestions, maybe you have a writer's block tip that you that works for you. I'd love to hear that as well. And uh, in the meantime, we will talk next week on the next episode of the Once in Future Writers Club. And right now, I think I have a phone call. Over habits of my heart